Hi, hello, how are you guys doing? It's Tisha. I am here with another post burn reviews. And this one, my friends, is the biggest one I've ever done. So I didn't really mean to save all of the candles that I burnt for a month, but I just, I kind of ran out of time to um, film videos. I like to film a couple videos at a time. And to be honest, you all, lately I just have not been like super inspired to do any type of videos. Um, I want to, but I haven't been hauling, and those are very fun videos to make. Those usually get me pretty excited to get started. And since I haven't been bringing in the new products, I haven't had anything to like compare for you or, you know, uh, review for you. So I have just been home burning candles. Now, I really am surprised at the amount of candles I have for this post burn review. There are 32 single or three wick candles and 10 single wick candles in this post burn review. Now, normally I would break it up, but today I just decided, you guys already know all of these candles. I have nothing new. So I'm just gonna tell you about my experience and do I want to repurchase it in another upcoming season? Cause as we know, pretty much all of these are Bath and Body Works and we can pretty much count on the fact that they are going to come out in the future. So we're gonna jump in. Most of the first uh, set here are gonna be Christmas candles because I was burning those, finishing those up at the first part of the month. Um, but yeah, I mean, if there are any video ideas that you guys would love to see somebody do, shoot them to me in a comment because right now I've just been kind of stuck. I want to make content. I love this channel, but I haven't really thought of anything super creative and fun to share with you all. So if you can think of anything that you would really love, um, bring these scent backs or some top tens. I, I just feel like I've been out of ideas lately. So I haven't been just bringing you anything because I haven't bought new stuff. So there's been no hauls. And then without new hauls, there's not new products to try. Um, but I really do feel pretty proud of this month. And I got rid of a lot of candles that were just, you know, sitting there waiting to be burned. Um, I've kind of always explained this, but I do have a collection. These are ones that Typically I don't burn, but I do have some that I have multiples of so that I can burn. Um, and then I do have like a back stack of candles, if you will, that are set aside for burning purposes. And this was a lot of those candles. So I am going to be making some type of candle purchase soon, waiting for a great sale as we all are, you know, have a coupon. I've actually let a couple of coupons expire, which is such a no, no, but, um, I've been just dealing with, um, more of an overwhelming feeling of my collection lately. I love having the collection that I have, but you know, we only have one body, just like makeup. We only have one face. And so I've just been letting a lot of things stare at me that I think I remember once being excited about. And now I'm not sure how to use it up in a timely manner. I'm not sure if you guys are feeling that way at all. Um, I didn't really do too much damage at semi-annual sale for that reason. This is a long intro, but this is probably the only video you're going to get for me this month. So again, if you have any ideas or any kind of content that you would like to see me bring back from the past, let me know because I miss making videos, but I just can't think of things to share with you all. And I miss you guys. So we're going to jump in. So I'm going to share with you a bunch of Christmas candles, but yeah, there are 32 three wicks and 10 single wicks in this um, post burn review, which is crazy, but it is my entire month, a little bit of December as well. And basically I just, I've been home a lot. Um, we did have a Christmas break. So many of those were started during Christmas break. I burned multiple candles at the same time. I know price sounds like a little bit of a house fire, but not that many at the same time, but I'll burn a couple. I have several different rooms and I love to blend scents. So these aren't one at a time burns. That would be kind of crazy, but you know, two, three at a time. So we'll start with a scent that I always talk about at this time of year, Twisted Peppermint. I think I've skipped this for a couple of years, but this is this this packaging altogether really did draw me in, if I'm being honest. But this is a scent that I do love in January when your weather's really getting bitter cold. It's such a cozy vibe to me. It has cool peppermint, sugared snow, fresh balsam, and vanilla buttering, but it doesn't really smell like a Christmas tree. There's just a minty iciness to this candle that I truly enjoy that's outside of just that cool peppermint, but it burnt really, really well. Um, it was a room filler. Um, and maybe some people don't like this candle for the reason that I love this candle. Some people find this scent to be headache inducing where I feel like if I'm not feeling the best, 
this is a candle that I absolutely love to have on hand to kind of make me just feel a little bit better. A lot of people use oils, I use candles, but this is a scent that I will continue to purchase. And of the three main staples we get for Christmas, this is by far my favorite. And following that up with, I actually probably burnt this at the same time, was a crushed candy cane. This is more of the candy sweet soft peppermint type of scent. It has crunchy peppermint, white sugar crystals, and frosted mint leaf. Um, really pretty burn. It had a nice light pink wax and it still smells really strong. Like I feel like I could leave the lid off and you would think it was a wax melt or something. But we did burn that down. I do always pick up one of these is every season as well. Of the two, I do think that crushed candy cane is my favorite, but there's something about twisted peppermint that just feels more like I don't even want to say like aromatherapy, but kind of like that invigorating. And like I said, makes me feel better, similar to like Sprite when you're having a tummy ache, if you will. Now, next I did go through a couple of these Fala La Latte. And I think I used a couple because this is quite a light scent. Um, now you guys know coffee scents are my jam. I do prefer them. I will always gravitate towards them. But this was a shot of espresso sweet vanilla foam with warm cookie crumbles. Love this on cold. Still love this on cold, but when it was burning, I just felt like I needed two big guys in a kind of smaller space to really enjoy the candle. It burnt really well. These burnt particularly fast. Like, I will say this sometimes, I will light a candle, you know, do a load of laundry, turn around, this thing's halfway gone. Very much felt that way about the Fala La Latte candle. I felt like I went through this in a couple of days and I was burning two. So these really were like a weekend and, um, I'm not the best at sticking to the three to four hour burn time on these, but um, you know, for the most part, I just watch my candles and it didn't do too bad at all. I mean, you do see a tiny bit of soot there, but this was really pretty packaging, really nice scent, but I think I would prefer this in like a single wick um, for what it gave in the three wick. I wouldn't have been as disappointed in a single wick. I wasn't disappointed, but this was by no means comparable to Caramel Brule Latte or Paris Cafe and even Cinnamon Spice Vanilla. This was definitely on your milder side of coffee. So the person that likes their coffee to be white, here you go. Loved the scent though. I still think I have one in the collection somewhere, but probably not going to be one that like some of those other ones I mentioned, like Caramel Brule Latte, Brown Sugar Latte, they didn't come back. I would much prefer to see their comeback over this candle in particular. Um, another few that are just Christmas favorites of mine, Cinnamon and Clove Buds. This came out in 2021 and I always pick up a version of this holiday. Um, they've named it other things, haven't they? But this is just a scent that I really enjoy. I always say that it makes me think of my grandma because she had the cinnamon house, cinnamon pine cone, cinnamon broomstick, cinnamon disc candies. It was all her and the cinnamon leaf, clove bud, ground nutmeg. That's absolutely what you get in here. Nothing more, nothing less, but the cinnamon is so spicy that like when you smell it, it really makes you think you're almost sucking on one of those cinnamon discs. Like that powerful, like spiciness that cinnamon can give us. Very strong candle, does well on its own. This was a really particularly fun collection and I've just been trying to get out of the mindset of saving things I know I'm gonna buy again because then I start to look at packaging and I start to think, should I keep the older stuff or should I bring the new stuff or what's gonna, and I just think, enjoy what you have. And that's what I did here. I loved the packaging of this, but I decided to enjoy what I had. Loved this at Christmas time. It's always a holiday Christmas and clove bud scents mixed with some kind of Christmas tree scent on Christmas. It's like a tradition for me. Another candle that I really loved for the last couple years they brought out is Christmas Cider. This is last year's packaging. This is mulled cinnamon, crushed clove, creamy nutmeg, simmering spider, spider, cider. And the difference here than over the cinnamon and clove buds is this really does smell like that percolated pot of cider that your grandma or someone might make at a party. You can kind of almost smell all those different things mixing together with the warmth. Um, I enjoy a good cider, but this really is nice and very authentic to Christmas. This is one of those candles I would really have a hard time burning outside of Christmas. Even though I love cinnamon scents and I can burn that outside of Christmas, this one really made me think Christmas, really made me think of this time of year. And like I said, it wasn't my favorite packaging, but I did hold on to it. And I'm just trying to get out of that mindset. So there you go. There's a whole bunch of three wicks. There's still more Christmas here. So 
I did get through some more fall. I, fall just came and went so quickly. I had a couple of crates of fall I still wanted to get through, but I definitely mixed this with some of that Christmas vibe I had going on sweater weather. This came out this year. I always do love a good white barn packaging. I mean, the solid glass jar label. This is Bath and Body Works packaging, but Fresh Sage Juniper Berry um, Aromatic Eucalyptus Freshwoods. I've always felt like this smelled like your grandpa's sweater after he came in from maybe like a fire or something mixed with like his soap or his deodorant or his um, Stetson stuff. You know, it's got a cologne vibe, but it also has this like woodsy smokiness to it. It doesn't have smokiness in the notes, but like you get the wood, you get those other things in here. You get the clean notes. I love this scent. There's always just one I need one of for this winter time. So I don't necessarily have to have it burnt by Christmas, but when it's cold, this is a scent that I truly, truly enjoy. And there'll be some rearranging in this video because I have candles everywhere, but I'm very excited to share these with you so I can get them tossed. A couple of faves that came out this year for fall. One is Autumn Chai. This was probably for me, for sure, more of a drink scent that I enjoyed over Falala Latte. The notes are cinnamon chai, French vanilla froth, and smooth caramel. And I really get the caramel in here. It's very, very like syrup-like. Sorry. I get the caramel in here, but it's very syrup-like to me. I also really enjoy that cinnamon chai. I've loved chai tea scents. It's really kind of spicy, but like not in the cinnamon candy way, more in like the true like ground cinnamon kind of way for me. Um, and then you do kind of just get that like latte foam type of thing. So again, this was just a candle, drink scented candle that I did prefer over the fall latte, but again, fall, winter, I definitely get the distinction. I would just prefer this scent over that one. Um, this was a great burn. It burnt all the way down and I enjoyed it all the way down to those little nubs. Do you see that? I really, really enjoyed this candle. It stood on its own. But again, those coffee scents, those cinnamon spicy scents, they're easy to blend with a vanilla and a caramel. So I was able to make a really nice bakery kind of blend here. Another one, probably I would say top favorite of this fall was sweet plum, sweet cinnamon plum, I'm sorry. Very good scent. And it's like sweet and fruity, but also has those spices and you get a little bit of apple in there. Um, I loved this scent, super strong, and it's just really, really good. Um, very juicy fruit scents, and um, I loved when this was going. It was so, like, it was in the air, but it wasn't like powerhouse, but it was like in the air everywhere. I could really pick up the sweet, fruity, juicy scents that were coming through in this candle. All right, let's move some around and give you guys some more. I really got a lot here, and this is going to be the longest video ever. Okay, so another blend I really enjoyed, which we knew that she would, was Unicorn Sprinkles and Pink Fairy Gumdrop. So both of these came out this year. I picked them both up for Candle Day. Pink Fairy Gumdrop is a candle that, again, I have in my collection, but I will continue to purchase because I just enjoy a nice pixie stick, sweet, sweet tart kind of scent. This is Sparkling Sugared Berry Pink Cotton Candy Sprinkle of Fairy Dust. This was a dirty burn for me, um, but, and like you can see, like it was, really, really high flame and a dirty burn, but I enjoyed the scent nonetheless. It doesn't, the scent has not altered whatsoever with that char on there. However, it was hot and vicious the whole time. I'm not sure if that was just mine, but what I do like about a hot and vicious burn is it definitely throws. What I worry about is that it's going to lose its scent. I will tell you this case, it did not, but sometimes it really does. Like halfway through the candle, it's like it's burned through all the fragrance oil. I'm not sure if that's a thing. I'm not a professional over here. But this one was strong through the whole candle. So I feel lucky in a sense that I was able to get through this candle looking the way that it did, but it really gave. And again, it just gives you more sweet tart, more pixie stick than cotton candy. But I paired it with Unicorn Sprinkles, which is another fluffy cotton candy, rainbow candy drop sugared lemon. And this is another really nice sweet scent. This is a little bit sweeter. That one's a little bit tartar. So we've got the sweet tart thing going. These would have been really great to save for Valentine's Day but this Savage did not. And I'm just so glad they brought this one back. I really hope I have another one. I feel like I grabbed two, but I don't know. I was kind of on a burn um, bender over here. So 
I may not have any more, but if it comes out again, I would definitely get this one again, just because it speaks to me. I love the candy scents and the sweet scents and the fruity scents. So that was a great burn altogether. Another one that I got through right around New Year's Eve. I need to quit putting that in the light. I apologize for the like blare in your face is champagne toast. I just love to burn this New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, the first week of the year. One, it's one of my favorite scents that Bath & Body Works has ever done, even though we know this is everyone's favorite scent. But again, it's juicy and fruity. It's got that candy-like scent. This is bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, and juicy tangerine. Mine burnt pretty good. You can see it got a little murky going there. But again, I will tell you when I'm enjoying my burns, sometimes I don't turn them down when I should. Um, sometimes I'm just all about the candle care, and then sometimes I'm just like burn with complete disregard for that. Still love this one. We'll always have a champagne toast in my collection. This packaging was super cute, but again, I'm really trying to break my habit of saving it just for packaging. If I want to burn a champagne toast and I have one on hand, I should really quit thinking like I, I can't use it because it's some kind of collector's piece because it's not, it's a candle. So moving on, um, another couple of scents I threw into that fall crate were a couple of older summer boardwalks. This is a scent that I just love. It kind of is a reset scent for me in terms of if you love gourmands, you can have gourmands that are reset scents. A lot of times we think it's got to be a strong, fresh and clean scent, but this is one that resets my nose because I always know what it is. And then it kind of just like gives my house some space to breathe. So I burned like one in the kitchen, one in the living room. And this is your caramel glazed popcorn, warm taffy apple and salty sweet cream. And it's very sweet and good smelling scent. Um, it definitely has that candied uh, caramely scent. Um, both of them were super strong. This was a little bit older than that one, but it did not matter. And it's another scent that I don't have to go on and on about because most of us that know it love it and it will be a continued repurchase for me forever. Um, one that won't be is this Tipsy Elf. I did not care for this candle. There was nothing wrong with this candle, but it just didn't give me what I wanted it to give me. Merry Vanilla Jolly Nutmeg, a sneaky elf with a heavy splash of rum. If you love boozy candles, the booze was in here and that didn't bother me. But the booze kind of mixed with the vanilla and nutmeg in a strange way. And it kind of had a perfume scent to it. The sweetness came off very perfumey to me. And I'm not sure what happened. I'm not sure if I'm the only one. It was kind of a gross burn too, but that's okay. I mean, not bad, but like, you know, the wax staying all to the sides and stuff. But for the most part, it just was almost like when you spray too much perfume and it gets in your mouth, that mixed with a little bit of booze. So for me... This is not something that I need to try again. Um, I did like hot butter rum in the past, but again, even at that time, I was a one and done with that candle. So this one, I'm glad I tried, but it did not blow me away. I'm glad I don't have three or four in my collection. I'm gonna do some rearranging and I'll be right back. All right, we did the switch out um, round two here. So a few more gourmand bakery scents. I did finish off this cinnamon spice vanilla and hot cocoa and cream. I thought I would love this more than I did Cinnamon Spice Vanilla in Paris Cafe because hot cocoa and cream is such a yummy scent, but this is good. It's just, it's exactly what you think it would be. Nothing more, nothing less. It's like, it's the little bit of hot cocoa and cream with a little bit of spice. It's like they added some cinnamon to the top of a hot chocolate. Um, there's a nice vanilla in here as well. Um, I liked it a lot. It just, mine came really gross. Like mine was like separated from the jar and Again, it's a candle, I'm gonna burn it. But I decided that this was a one and done for me simply because it came so damaged and they were gone. But I do love that Beth and Butters is doing these blended scents. I think they're gonna get more and more um, interesting as we go. I mean, I'm loving the neutral collection. I'm loving these blended scents. So that was something from 2022 that I really was excited about because I've always loved both of these scents. And if there's other ones, there was some I never even tried. Like. Cinnamon stick and Waikiki beach coconut. I remember smelling that in store and thinking, how does this work? But it did work. It worked. It smelled really nice. So um, I think that these are going to be interesting if they continue to make them. So I would pick this up again, but it wasn't something that I was sad that I don't have another one of because I have plenty of hot cocoa and cream on hand, Paris Cafe, cinnamon spice vanilla scents that I can just make my own. And you guys know I love to do that. Um, with that candle, was another, I do blends, I blend all the time. So I blended another autumn chai. I had like three of these because I love coffee scented candles. And this is not smelling like coffee. I need to quit saying that. 
I put this in the coffee category because anything that's gonna make me think of a Starbucks is a coffee scented candle. So this really doesn't have any coffee to it, but it does have that nice like chai tea spice just to it mixed with that French vanilla latte kind of scent. Loved it. And again, they blended really nicely. They did their own thing in each room, but where they met, it was this nice little barista moment for me. Okay, so we're gonna do some more gourmands. I did burn through this strawberry pound cake I had on hand. Um, I do typically burn my strawberry pound cakes with a um, banana bundt cake. It's just a scent that I've really come to enjoy. But this time around, I burnt it with a red velvet cupcake. I thought it'd be more Christmas bakery. I don't know that I nailed it or anything, but this is lush red velvet cream cheese frosting and sweet vanilla. I like this, but again, once I burnt one, and I love this packaging. This is my favorite packaging ever. I don't know why. Um, but once I burned through this, I was okay on not having any more. If they bring it out in the future and I want to buy one, I will, but it's not one that's out of my collection at this time. And sometimes that makes me really sad, but in this instance, I'm okay. But this is a scent that I do love. It's gourmand. It's got cream cheese and it's got like a cakey scent. Um, I don't really think I can put my nose on a red velvet cake versus like a chocolate cake. Once they're baked, maybe if you blindfolded me, I would know. But until that day, I, I, I couldn't tell you. But it mixed really nicely with the strawberry pound cake. Both have a nice dense cake presence. This one definitely has your strawberries mixed with some syrup and whipped cream, making it dense with a light airy touch, but I love it. And it's very strong. As we know, I've always been able to say this is one of those tried and true scents because every single strawberry pound cake I've ever had, I would be shocked if I had a strawberry pound cake that was scentless or scentless, but never has happened. This is definitely a candle I can put on and it projects and makes a delicious bakery scent. Another one um, that I was able to get through was a Wildberry Jam Donut. Again, just was on a little bakery train, so I just kept pulling bakery scents. And this is Sweet Wildberry Jam, Powdered Donut, and Brown Sugar Crumble. We loved this candle when it came out. This was my favorite version of this candle to date. Um, I'm not sure if it's just because it was the first or if it really was truly the best, but this one really gives you all the things. I feel like the light purple jar that we had was um it was just a little bit it was it was missing something or we wanted more I'm not sure but I remember when I burnt that one I wanted another one of these and I had a couple so I went ahead and burnt it this was beautiful packaging I missed the bakery collection this year so it's kind of funny because we'll say oh they keep giving us the same thing and when they take something back we miss it that might be why they keep doing that to us but this is a lovely bakery scented candle you definitely get the jam you get a little bit of that donut yeasty scent, but like a baked donut mixed with a little bit of buttery brown sugar, like baking type of um, essence. So this is just a great candle. Love it. I will always repurchase that if they keep giving it to us. Okay, so I have some spring here. I definitely have some summer almost even too. You'll laugh. But yeah, I think I want to go through my single books real quick because these are going to be really quick. I'm not going to do any scent notes or anything but I always burn my single wicks in twos. I have two separate little candle holders on top of this very long wall bookshelf thing. And so I will pick scents I feel pair well, or at least will be pretty close to each other when they're burning. So they'll give something. So I'm gonna go through those with you. Um, the first set probably, I don't even remember at this point, was this crushed candy cane I picked up at some annual sale for 75% off. And as you can see, some of them have more wax left than others. I can get down to the gristle on some of these candles and then sometimes they just seem to dud out at this point and I will throw them on my little warmer tray that I have up there on that bookshelf as well. So no harm, no foul. Um, crushed candy cane, again, one of my absolute favorite Christmas scents and the single wood gives. So again, if you find this at a good deal, you can trust that this will be enough. I promise you. It's that very sweet, soft peppermint candy type of scent. I love it. And candy cane too. I mean, I don't really eat candy canes, but you know what I'm saying. I love those little soft peppermints. So it makes me think of that. And I mix that with a peppermint sugar cookie. Another candle. These are the only two candles I was able to find for 75% off at the winter sale. So that is why I have them. Now I will tell you that they did start putting those scent notes back on single wicks, which is nice. Um, this one again, I did get, you know, pretty far down and then I just let that go as I put it on the warmer. So each of these probably gave me another two days on the warmer. This one has less of the candy cane peppermint scent and more of that butter sugar cookie scent. 
that scent that you get before you ice, but when you've really got a ton of cookies that have baked, that sugar butter cookie is so delicious. So went through both of those. Another blend I really enjoyed was an iced lemon pound cake mixed with this sweet berry peony. Now this has like a strawberry scented note to it mixed with that floral. So I would classify this as a fruity floral, but it's quite a strong scent. And I don't know that everyone agrees, but I feel like this is a scent that when you have it burning or in a wallflower plug, you really enjoy. But I will tell you that there is some reason that I do prefer Ghoulfriend to this scent and I don't know why. Um, maybe I'm burning it the wrong time of year and I just came off of like your fall, holiday, Christmas stuff. But this one has a different, not funky, but like we weird way that it makes a fruity floral blend that doesn't happen in like Ghoulfriend, which has similar notes. That's why I'm saying that or comparing it. Um, did I love this? Yes, but I loved it even more when I mixed it with that delicious lemon pound cake scent. This is more like lemon cake pop, I say because it does just seem like a cupcake or like a nice airy dessert. It doesn't have that dense pound cake that we get from like strawberry pound cake. But that aside, the lemon in here, I swear to you, I could drink this when it's all melted. It's so, it just almost, it's like, like I love a iced lemon like bread slice and it really smells like both the cake and the icing together what I love about it and what it did was take over this and made that like weird mix of fruit. The fruit here, the lemon, that ice lemon mixed with the floral made this pretty girly like lemon based scent instead of it always being a berry. I really enjoyed this and it was kind of a gamble because I did not know how it was going to blend together. A few more and we've got some summer here because I don't care because I put them in sleeves. I was in the mood for some juicy fruity kind of scents. So I went with something that I knew I could count on. Blue raspberry snow cone is so good. It's just, well here, the notes, blue raspberry syrup, hint of cherry. Yeah, I mean, scoop shave of ice, but very cherry, very juicy. I like it and it smells completely different than firecracker pop, but together, this was so juicy. This one definitely pulls that blue raspberry. So any type of blue raspberry Kool-Aid or blue raspberry candy, you kind of get that syrup scent or like the snow cone where you're like pumping that syrup. That's what blue raspberry snow cone gives. This really does give a lot more of a cherry scent and oh, it's just one of my favorites. So again, being a fruity scented lover, this was a blend that was a no brainer for me. Another summer blend that I did go through in my last post burn brand, you saw that I was kind of going through some of my summer single wicks. So this is like the end of that was summer melody mixed with saltwater breeze. And this was kind of giving like his and her beach vibes to me. So this is a nice honeydew vanilla scent. And that mixed with this really clean beach day kind of salty skin scent. It's not really skin, but like a salty hair spray type of scent. Um, like the way leave-in spray. That's what it reminds me of. I don't know why. But they were both very, like, they gave. I, I don't want to say strong. I hate using the word strong or, you know, great throw, but... They gave a lot, um, <clears throat> the honeydew vanilla mixed with this like salty beach scent was just really nice. Another great reset, really felt like clean, fresh air and I loved it. And the last one was this right here, which I just actually finished off today. Pear caramel brulee, and you can see this one kind of dudded, so we put her on the wax melts warmer, is a scent that I do want to have back. Um, I mix it with Butley Rosé because they were from the same collection, not because they really belong together. Um, but you know, this one is just like your hint of bubbly with some fruit and cranberry, I think. Just a berry of some kind, a tartness. There's a tartness mixed in with that Prosecco here. And I just mixed it with this pear caramel, like it's whipped cream. It's just like a dessert scent. I've never really been a big fan of pear. Um, <clears throat> another scent I really love that has pear is, is it, now I feel, is it uh, Magnolia Charm, which has like a freshness? This definitely has more of that whipped cream vanilla. And I like it a lot. I feel like I could really enjoy this um, in a three wick. They should go ahead and give us what we need there. But it was one I was holding on to, holding on to because it was all I had. And I thought, just use it. So I did and I enjoyed it. So that was my 10 single wicks. Again, I don't need to give you guys really like notes on these because it's kind of like a 20 year old movie. I'm not going to spoil it for you. At this point, all the candles I have, you already know about. So I'm just telling you whether I liked it, whether it burned well, whether I'm going to purchase it again. 
in the future. So let's finish up here. All right, I know you guys have been here forever. So, you know, pink apple punch in the comments if you're still here. But I did go through a pink apple punch and I mixed it with a bubbly rose. I just realized I had like four or five of these on hand and I said to myself, I said, Tisha, why? Why do you have four pink apple punch candles? It's not your favorite scent. Three or four bubbly rose. I like them, but they're not loves. They're not sweet red mango. They're not a hundred candles I can name. So I went ahead and used this set and I decided to pair them. They're light and bubbly and uplifting and fruity and happy scents, but they're both strong in their own right. Pink Apple Punch, of course, has crisp apple, sun-kissed melon, and sugar crystals, and it does have a melon vibe. I think it's more like, like, I don't even want to make a honeydew melon, you know, a green, the green one. Um, you definitely don't pick up as much apple, but you get a nice, like, it almost seems like some type of summer drink in a bowl you have for like a punch. That's really what you get here. I like it a lot. Again, just not a favorite. I don't know why I had so much on hand. And then Bubbly Rosé. Again, I like it. It's just, it is what it is. It's our champagne toast friend. Um, she's definitely going to come out a hundred more times. So anytime I need to pick one up, I definitely can. This one burnt really great though. I really feel like that is an awesome burn. So two more there. And then in that mix, I know at some point I was burning one of those with this. This is Coral Waves. This I can't believe I burned, but you want to use the ones you love. And I love this scent. This is peach, nectar, beachside, coconut, and fresh mango. I think just because I wasn't able to get my hands on all these new candles that are coming out, I wanted to use something from last year this time that made me really happy. This has this really pretty scent in here that just makes me so happy. It makes me want to go to wherever it smells like this. I don't know where they came up with this concept, but I want to go here. And so I definitely get drink vibes. I definitely get tiki bar vibes. I definitely get like swim up to the bar type of thing here. But it's very nice and subtle in the way that like none of those notes are all that this candle is. Like it's not just mango. It's not just boozy or anything like that. It's not just a coconut scented candle. This blends into something unique for me. I mean, not for everyone, but for me. And I really, really enjoyed her. So I burnt that in conjunction here with probably a little bit of pink apple punch, just trying to make my own little drink thing happen, you know, like take me away uh, on a vacation that I can't afford type of thing. Inflation, have you guys bought eggs lately? It's crazy, that's why I can't buy candles because I'm buying eggs. But another little like fruity summer moment we had here was orange pineapple punch, tart orange juice, sweet pineapples, vanilla sugarcane. This is just sweet orange juice, but I love orange juice. I'm so glad that I'm able to drink it at my age and not get heartburn, thank you Lord. But this is a great candle, super, if you like fruity scents, you love that scent already. And I was trying to be weird, so I mixed it with the Prosecco and Peaches. I think this was a half burned one that I had. I, you can tell that at some point I dropped it because YOLO, I mean, what a mess. But I burnt it all the way down to the gristle there. I definitely got my money's worth. This is your Peach Rings candy scent. And I don't know that it really mixed well with fresh, um, or not fresh, but orange pineapple punch, but it didn't do any harm. Nobody got hurt. So we're good. It just, this is very candy peach or candy peach drink scent. And that's definitely like orange juice. So you would find them in the same aisle at the local store. So I don't think that's a big deal. Another really delicious one here. I'm just kind of rambling at this point with around like candle 28 here was a nice little like spring reset. I have come to love this and I just want to advocate for all of us that were hating on her. This is delicious. Spring plum and blackberries, it gives everything that it needs to give. We can ask no more for this candle. And I don't know if it's just my version, but when I take this lid off, I am blown away by how strong this is. Cause I remember last spring when I set this candle to burn, I was like, I can't smell anything. And I know that I clean everything. I clean everything. I was wiping down my walls with Lysol wipes last weekend, okay? I clean out the air vent. Like I don't just take out the filter, then I wipe in between the thingies and cut my fingers, okay? I do clean things. I got up on my ceiling fans and wiped the top of them off because I had one of those like bristly things and it wasn't getting it. I didn't leave it. I got up there and got it. So this candle, I don't know where it came from, but like somebody took out what was in here last spring and put something new in and it's so good and now I want more. And I think this was at first, um, I had the mindset to just burn it to get rid of it. Juicy Market Plum Tart Mixed Berry Vanilla Bean. Yes, it has this delicious vanilla undertone, 
plum comes through, but in a totally different way than cinnamon sweet cinnamon and plum. It's just very spring forward. It smells so good. I would eat whatever this is supposed to be. If it's just a mixed bowl of berries, you could talk me into eating it. I'm telling you though, this is so pretty. I want more of this and I want it to be this strong. And I mix it with a spring and sprung. Not a fruity juicy candle. This is very floral. It's Easter lily, dew covered grass and early spring air. I burnt this in a huge space. Once I had cleaned up for Christmas and got rid of all of my Christmas scented candles, I let this thing go for a weekend and it really cleaned the air. But at first it really put a lot of floral in the air. But when it mixed with this sweet, juicy plum mixed with vanilla, this worked so good together. This right here, I would make a mashup. I know, weird, but I would, I truly would. Or I'd at least sell it in a two pack. It was so yummy in terms of, it really toned down these florals. And sometimes you really need a floral torn down unless you just love to blast yourself out of the house. You need your florals toned down. And it came out with this juicy plum vanilla and it worked so well for me. Enough, enough, enough. Okay, so I went through a little bit of this collection here. I did a five-star Texas pecan pie. Loved it, wanna eat it. Where do I go to buy it? It's just like super nutty. You can smell the brown sugar. Oh my gosh, so good. Buttery. Um, I don't know if I can pick out the distinct pie crust note, but you could tell me that this was a pie that was baking. I would believe you. It's really good. But again, it's pecan pie. So like I can't make anything that's not in this candle come to be, but it was yummy. Um, I did go through another apple macchiato. Again, I wanted to love this more than I did, but it was okay. That's what I want to say about this. It's Washington Spiced Apples Hint of Cinnamon and Caramel. Not quite Caramel Apple Lane. Not quite a real drinky type of candle because I feel like a macchiato is a drink. Didn't really get that from it. Definitely just got like a caramel apple scent, but have other caramel apple scents that I enjoy more. So I think I still have one and I'm good with that. The most unique one out of this collection that I did burn was a pumpkin mint milkshake. And this was quite strong. This is vanilla ice cream, mint chips, pumpkin pie spices. I'm surprised for those of you that get to go to test stores that you chose some of these over this. Although I don't necessarily know that I want to drink a pumpkin mint milkshake, I will tell you that this blended together quite well. I get a little bit of mint and it is more like in a chip form. So like if you're smelling a bag of like baking chips, it's not overly strong mint here. It's not a mint leaf. It's not a peppermint. It's not a, list, a Listerine strip. It's not a winter green mint. Just a hint. And then you definitely get this like vanilla ice cream pumpkin pie spice. I really hope I do have another one of these because I really actually enjoy this. I enjoy it for its authenticity of being something that you really would never run into. Like this is one of those examples of times where, where you, where have you seen a pumpkin mint milkshake? But they made this work and I just can't believe this failed. Maybe because it was too weird and I'm weird. And so I like, you know, I'm, I, I can tell my own out in the wild, but the last two were the best two. Okay. Save the best for last, right? Vanilla cola candy. I know I burnt an old candle, but I kept smelling this on cold and I wanted to burn it. So I did, but it burnt down pretty good. I think this is not that old. I don't want to make it. Well, it's 2450. We haven't seen that in a minute. It's a 2019 candle. So I've had it for a few years. Fizzy soda, crystal, sparkling sugar cane, creamy vanilla. I do have one more. I'm not that crazy, but this was like, I was, I think I'd had a caramel cream soda in the last round. And I just kept smelling this and I said, one day, I'm gonna burn that candle. And I did, and then I never put it back because I really struggle to put burn candles in this. I have I have rules, maybe I should do like a rules video. <laughs> no, but this was really good. And I love their fun blends that come out of nowhere, but smell so good. And you didn't know you need it. Like I did not know I needed bottle caps in candle form until they did this and caramel cream soda. Now I'm gonna need them to keep bringing it. I need all five or four or six of those scents out, but this was so good. And now I'm down to my last one, so I'll never touch it. And then here she is, you guys. Hello spring, come on summer, you can come. Sweet red mango, favorite candle of last year. Smells like tropical Skittles, you can't tell me nothing. It's ripe mango, sunny peach and pineapple juice. Again, you guys know me at this point. These are candles that I burn. So there's nothing new and cool here. You've seen all 32 plus 10 but I really enjoyed my candle burning experience. And before I make an hour long video, I just wanted to say, I wanted to do this one time to see how many candles I truly could get through in my month without 
hustling the candles. Like I just burn at this rate. But if I'm home every day and I'm burning every day, these are candle like they are collectible things if you are into that, but also you can use it and really enjoy it. And like I can still keep burnt candles and I, I could smell the containers. It's so weird, but I'm really excited to get rid of these candles. They've been sitting here forever. This is my favorite candle last year and I hope it comes back in cute packaging and I hope I can stock up on it. And I have like four or five, you guys, I'm not even shameful. You guys have seen this candle so many times in my empties. I've gone through four or five, I still have four or five. I don't think in the history of my life I've bought any candle to that rate. Here it is, but let me know down below what you've been burning and loving. Am I crazy for burning 42 candles? I can give you a house tour. I'm not living in a soot house, I promise you. It does not look like someone had a fire here. I promise you. But let me know down below if you guys have any fun video ideas for me. I miss you so much. I want to make more content. I just don't want to go through my drawers of stuff right yet. I was going to make a collection tour, but I don't know if it's like where I want it yet or what. I'm not sure. I'm just stalling. I could do more decluttering, but yeah, just let me know like what kind of videos you guys miss from either me or just that you aren't seeing on YouTube because I'm just feeling uninspired, but I want to be re-inspired. Is that a word? I will go look it up. Um, if you've watched this point, you're my favorite. Put Sweet Red Mango in the comments and thank you so much. I'm sorry that this is so long, but have a great day wherever you are and I will see you as soon as I can think of a video idea or two. Bye everybody.